a lot of these players were, I suppose, on the on the tail of the senior panel for a number of years, two or three years, maybe not, you know, making that step up. So, you know, the Munster League, you know, the start of the Munster League was ideal for us. It was a great opportunity to to get players back out onto the field and you know, I suppose there's there's a lot a lot maybe negative criticism about these pre pre league games and these pre um air league season matches, but I suppose when you're a new manager in, it, it, it's it's great to get them games at so early in the year before you head into a, a competitive league to to get players out on the field and get some sort of a perspective on where you're at. So, um, yeah, we were really happy with with the couple of matches we got there. We got to the final of it, obviously, and then um, losing to Cork and Parky Ring was a bit of a disappointment. Having, you know. I suppose done enough for long stages of the game to get something out of it, and Cork came with a late flurry there and 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 deservedly win the won the game. So um, yeah, so that that teed us up nicely for our league, and you know our league went went well for five rounds of the league. We we were really competitive, winning all games, and and then obviously our, our league semi final um, with the All Ireland Champions Limerick down in Limerick. Um, for for long stages of the game, we hurled quite well, but but ultimately they had too much for us in the end, and. As I said earlier, give us good learnings as to what we need to improve on. They say get get your players into good form, and and the rest looked after itself. And you know we I can only judge as a manager off my eye in training every night. And and these players are, are coming with massive energy to the to the training field. And you know we always try to aspire to 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 bring our training form out onto the match day field when 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 the time comes. So to date, our training is is been really really good and. You know, if we can continue to do that over the next couple of weeks and the next couple of training sessions, uh, you know, we should arrive in good shape. You know, a lot of these players are very familiar with with, with what, what Mikey Beavins looks for on the training field and, and and what principles we try to apply as a, as a, as a management team. So, you know, um, a lot of the, I suppose, younger players now that are, are supposed to come into 24, 23 years of age now, um, you know, hit the ground fairly quick for us. Um, but... You know, there, 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 there are guys now that have, have, you know, conditioned well. I haven't, uh, you know, from the minor under 20 days and 21 days, there are guys that have filled out well. And, you know, the, the couple of years of, of, um, of a good SNC program has definitely benefited them. And, uh, you know, I think and believe that they're maturing into to, to decent adult players now and will, and will so over the next couple of years. Cork have, have, you know, very similar to ourselves in Tipperary, have had a quite a bit of underage success, uh, over the last couple of years and I suppose a lot of that younger um, Cork players that you know Tipperary would have been successful back in 18 and, and 19 have a, a lot more I suppose inter-county senior hurling under their belts than, than some of our fellas um, and then there's a mixture of, of the two under 20 teams from Cork as well that won um, the, the two back-to-back All-Irelands as well over the last two years starting to break through so uh, you know, a fine pool of talent in Cork. Um, young team, very pacey, fast team, all really, really good hurlers. And, uh, and you know, and a manager with Pat Ryan as well that knows him equally as well as I would have known know our younger players in Tipperary. So very similar in a lot of ways um, uh, where Cork are at versus versus ourselves at the moment. But obviously they have a couple of their, their more experienced players thrown in there as well, like Patrick Horgan and, you know, um, Conor Lahan and, Harnedy and all these guys so um, yeah a lot, a lot of similarities between ourselves and Cork in relation to where we're at I suppose in our development it's massively exciting there's a great buzz around you know great buzz around the, the, the local towns and, and villages and parishes and um, you know there's a little bounce in everyone's step again and that's what that's what GA and, and hurling and Gaelic football does and especially when, you're, when your teams are going well or in with a chance and, and supporters feel that, that players are, are given their all um, especially Tipperary supporters, they'll, they'll row in behind and they'll go with real optimism and hope to, to see their team play. And it keeps, keeps us all going, keeps, keeps us all um, motivated and really looking forward to, the, to, to what lies ahead over the next couple of weeks.